guys, today I will show you how to make lab bench power supply with both adjustable voltage and current. As always first let's look into the circuit diagram to understand how it works. You can see here goes the DC input 30 volt 10 ampere maximum. Here 10k resistor is used for LED indicator. Here I have used LM317 adjustable regulator and 10k potentiometer to set the reference voltage out from the LM317 through this diode. And here BD139 bipolar transistor used to set the reference current by this 10k potentiometer. When we move the potentiometers clockwise, due to the decreasing resistance between potentiometer pin 3 and pin 2 connected with base of BD139, collector draws the voltage and current set by potentiometers to emitter which then goes to base of TIP3055 transistor as reference voltage. And same happens again collector of this transistor draws same voltage and current set by potentiometers directly from main DC input to emitter of transistor and provides variable output under 30 volts and 10 amperes. Here fixed 5 volt regulator used to power up the cooling fan also volt and ampere meter. And this output volts measuring line. And negative to load passes through this connector to measure load amperes. For easy assembly and application of this circuit, I designed the printed circuit boards for this project, and I ordered 5 pieces of PCBs for just $2 from jlcpcb.com. Simply click on order now. Upload the PCB gubber file. After uploading you can see preview of the PCB. Then set the PCB quantity. Also you can choose different color of PCB, and save to cart for checkout. Here I got the PCB with purple color and it looks awesome. So, now let's start placing components according to the circuit diagram. You can download both circuit diagram and PCB gubber file from description also I have provided PDF PCB layout files in case if you would like to develop PCB at home. Now let's place transistors and voltage regulators on back of PCB. Now solder the components on PCB. Now trim the excess leads of components, and just for an option you can clean the flux residue on PCB with isopropyl alcohol. Now I cleaned the flux residue on PCB, and is ready for further assembly. I used these two pieces of spaces to allow some space between PCB and heatsink. I used this aluminium heatsink and had already drilled the holes for mounting of the circuit. Use these silicon pads to isolate transistor and voltage regulators from heatsink. Also use these plastic washers on screws of voltage regulators. Use a 5 volt fan for cooling and mount on the side of heatsink. I also used this DC volt and ampere meter. And used these glass fiber sleeves for protection of these wires against heating, as these wires goes to circuit through the heatsink. Connect the red wire to pad marked with R. And connect black wire to pad marked with B. And same here, connect red wire to R. Black wire to B yellow wire to Y and connect fan in the spin header connector now our circuit is almost ready also cooling fan is mounted and still we need to connect one thing and that is potentiometers you can use these type of potentiometer over here but as it is single turn potentiometer it will be little tricky to set the precise output voltage and current so I prefer to use this multi turn potentiometer it will let you set the precise voltage and current easily so let's solder these potentiometers at their place. I used these alligator clip wires at output to connect load easily. Connect DC input wires in input connector and turn on the power. Okay, 
Now with this potentiometer you can set the output voltage under 30 volts. For testing let's set it to 12.5 volts. I will use this lamp as load at output. And with this potentiometer when I increase current, you can see current start increasing and also voltage start showing little drop. And when I start decreasing the current, voltage start coming back to set voltage. So this is very easy and useful circuit, and you can assemble the circuit in the enclosure to use it easily. Also it is recommended to use little bigger heat sinks and keep the loads under 10 amperes. For more useful videos subscribe the channel. Also check out these recommended videos. Thanks for watching.